Hi guys, this is Ramat and welcome to Best Gaming Settings. Hope you'll enjoy this video. For more updates, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon. Today I'll discuss about Frostborn Spellbreak Character Classes Guide. Frostborn is a player class that is specially designed to enhance your ability with the Frost Gauntlet. This gauntlet is best for long distance attack, but it can also be lethal as a spell combo for team attacks. This player class will help you to specialize in this gauntlet. Frostborn is best paired with gauntlet that helps its long range attacks like crack shot. However, gauntlets in spell break aren't single use. The Frost Gauntlet can be useful at a closer range too. If you prefer to use Frost for combos, you might not need to use Frostborn. You can also combine it was a defense heavy class like bulwark forceborn passive ability is cold snap passive abilities are always active but this one has a timer that resets itself every 30 seconds your over armor will be set to 50 this is irrelevant of if you are wearing armor or not however once you take damage this armor breaks for another 30 seconds this is a helpful ability for always having a layer of defense you should pay attention to the 30 seconds timer as it can allow you to make some risky attacks knowing you are about to gain some armor. Now let's talk about Forceborn selectable scrolls. As well as the passive ability, you can also gain additional boost with selectable scrolls. Each time you gain a point, you can access one of these scrolls. You are given a choice of some scrolls for both of your classes. The first selective scroll available for Frostborn is Chilling Effects. While you are standing on ice, the cost of your using attack to your mana is decreased by 50%. This increase to 70 and improve to 90% with upgraded scrolls. This scroll can make attacking while moving really powerful. It is a risky scroll as it is requires skill in quick aiming. However, if you have got the ability to get the most out of this, it is worth using. The second scroll is Frozen Alacrity. This increases the sprint speed on ice by 100%. The upgraded scroll will rack it up by 125% and 150% and you will no longer slip on ice. This scroll gives you a complete control over your movement on ice while speeding you up quite a lot. When combined with chilling effects lowered mana cost, it can make traversing the map an absolute breeze with uh, the first gauntlet. This scroll is a really useful tool for movement. It can get in the way a little with the team games. Since your teammate will be lagging behind you in movement it is easy to get separated like chilling effects this is a scroll that should be reserved for players skilled with the first gauntlet and moving around now let's talk about tundra and prioritizing scrolls the last selectable scroll for frostborn is tundra this scroll is a bit more straightforward and will be help any player or with the first gauntlet regardless of the play style or skill this scroll increases a blizzard size and during duration by 50 percent and then 70 per 75 percent and and then 100% with the upgraded scroll. There isn't much strategy to this scroll. However, if you manage to acquire an upgraded version of it, it can make the combos that come with Blizzard much more destructive. In team games, this scroll should be prioritized to give you the biggest opportunity for combining spells and doing major damage. If you are playing a solo game and you have got enough skill to use them, you should prioritize getting the on-ice based skill. This can let you dominate the battlefield. However, in team games, Tundra is going to be much more effective tool for you. You should combine this crop with a general class like Crackshot. Frostborn is a great character class but it is most useful in the hands of skill player. If you are talented enough uh, with movement to make it work, it can be a great tool. However, it is hard to master for beginners. That was all for Frostborn. Hope you enjoyed this video. For more updates, please like, share, comment and subscribe to our channel. If we miss something, please let us know by comment and thanks for watching.